Are you curious how to use Composer to manage your WordPress plugins and incorporate them into your deployment process? Not only will it help teams stay in sync and expedite workflows, but it is also pretty easy to set up. Today, I'll show you how to set up your Git version controlled WordPress project to integrate Composer, pull in plugins, and deploy them to WP Engine. First, check out my previous post which covers branch deploys to WP Engine with GitHub Actions. There is also an accompanying video, which I'll link to in the show notes. We'll assume that you already have your WordPress project under Git version control and are likely familiar with using the command line. Let's get an overview of our current example WordPress project. As you can see, we have one custom plugin, one premium plugin, Advanced Custom Fields Pro, a few public plugins, and a single custom theme. We'll use Composer to manage our WordPress.org public plugins and Advanced Custom Fields Pro. We'll keep our custom plugin and theme under version control, but we will not need Composer to manage these dependencies. Now that we have established which themes and plugins we want to version control, we can start by updating our repo's gitignore to exclude and include the files and directories we want to allow or disallow. Here we have an empty gitignore opened in the VS Code editor. Notice all the folders and files are bright white in the explorer on the right. Now, if I add all the relevant directories and files to the empty gitignore file, then you'll notice that the explorer has faded some of the items. This allows us to see that we're ignoring the desired directories, which is helpful. I'll place a link in the show notes for the entire gitignore file. We can start setting up our composer dependencies by creating a composer.json file. We'll start with some basic properties for name and type. The name typically consists of a vendor and project name with a forward slash in between. The type property represents the package type. Next, we can begin installing the useful Composer Installers package. This package allows us to set custom directories for our packages to be installed, which will be crucial for installing our WordPress plugins in the desired directory. We've got a basic Composer project initialized. Next, we'll want to pull in any publicly available WordPress.org hosted plugins into our project. However, WordPress.org plugins are not available as Composer dependencies, and we need to utilize the handy wpackages.org site, which provides a mirror of all WordPress.org plugins, but with Composer integration. This will allow us to pull in any plugin that is available on WordPress.org with Composer. Back in our composer.json file, we'll add a repositories entry and point it to wpackagist.org as a source. Then we'll add each of our project's plugins from the WordPress Packagist library. After all of our plugins have been added, we can run composer install from the command line to install all the plugins into our WordPress site's plugins directory. We want to add the ACF Pro premium plugin to our composer setup, which will require us to reference a license key. First, we will add the private composer installer package, allowing us to reference ACF Pro's download URL and combine it with our secret license key. Once the private Composer installer package is installed, we can add ACF Pro's download URL as a source in our repository's entry. Next, we require ACF Pro as a dependency and tell the private Composer installer package where our .env file is found, which is relative to the composer.json file. 
The last thing we need to do is create a .env file to store our secret license key. You can obtain your ACF Pro license key in the My Account Licenses area. Be sure to name your private keys variable the same as in the composer.json file. Also, it is critical to make sure you do not commit and store your .env file in your repository. That is why we included our .env file in our gitignore earlier. Now, if you run composer update, you should have ACF Pro installed in the plugins directory. Now that we have all our composer dependencies set up, we'll integrate our GitHub deployment actions. This will allow us to deploy any custom updates to our custom plugin and theme alongside our latest composer dependencies. We'll use the deploy WordPress to WP engine GitHub actions, which are freely available and well-documented. You will need an SSH key created and established in WP engine, which is covered in the GitHub actions documentation and my previous post. We'll start by creating a new folder to store our workflow in and create our YAML workflow file. The key things to note here are the SSH keys environment variable name needs to match your GitHub repository's SSH action variable. The WPE environment variable matches your WP engine environment name. The remote path points to the final environment's WP content directory. We're passing a series of rsync flags, which will be crucial in distinguishing which files and directories we want to allow or disallow in our deployment. We also have PHP linting enabled. Finally, we're telling our GitHub action to run a post deploy script. Let's go over these now in a bit more detail. I've created a new folder named config with three new files. We'll start with our include.txt file, which tells our GitHub action which files and folders to include in our rsync transfer. Next, we'll show our exclude.txt, which tells our rsync transfer to exclude specific files and folders. Last, we have a post deploy script that will trigger Composer to run a clean install each time on the final server. Once we commit and push up our changes, our first deployment will be triggered. We can verify that the GitHub workflow was successful and that our plugins are all currently up to date on our production server. Deploying code to WP Engine is made easy with WP Engine's GitHub action workflows. Be sure to read through the great documentation and reach out if you have any issues.